Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey Virgo, let's get into this weekend reading. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys for the weekend, for your reading. What does Virgo need to know for the weekend? What messages does Virgo need to know for the coming weekend? Okay, why do I feel like you get this card all the time? Hand of Cards. Okay, let's take a look. Hand of Cards, Healthy Choices. And the clock. Tick tock, you don't stop. <clears throat> okay. What's going on here? Hand of cards. Let's see. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options not showing. Hand. Gambling. <clears throat> Healthy choices. Oh, I hurt my wrist the other day, so I can't turn it. Um, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self care, self love, being happier. Okay. And you have clock, needing time, taking time, in time cycles, time to heal, progress, okay. Hmm, okay. Someone is behind the scenes right now, this weekend. Um, being very strategic about a risk that they wanna take, okay. Now, I feel like it's not time yet to make this move, to take this jump, or to make this jump, okay? Um, but it feels like it's making a jump towards being, making a healthy, a healthier choice. <laughs> so that kind of tells me that somebody was living their life a very toxically. Is that a word? Toxically. Somebody was living their life, like, not well. They were not, you know what I mean? Like, if you're living, a, like, a, a reckless life, it's a risk to live a healthy life. <laughs> and if you're living a very healthy life, it's a risk to live a very reckless life, right? So, whomever this person is, um, has lived their life um, out on the streets <laughs> at, at 2 a.m., you know what I mean? And they were hitting the strip clubs or they were you know um just being very rebellious okay this is the message that's coming through and it's very odd yes i don't know who this person is they were and the whole world was in action and moving and getting things done working nine to five what a way to make a living this person was out at 2 a.m make it a living you know it was it was day and night Okay, so I feel like this, whoever this person is, they're changing their ways. They're, they're syncing up with the rest of the world, settling down, being more strategic. They're, they're, they're getting old. Time is catching up with them. This is what I'm hearing. They're not sleeping um, all day long and staying up all night long. They're changing their... Um, their biorhythms they're trying to you know let's groove tonight i don't know they're trying to get in the groove right they're trying to get into the groove of humanity here so we could be a part of life no longer living like a vampire that's that is the message okay so i'll see y'all later have a great weekend so that's what i'm getting right now i don't know if this is you i don't know who this is this is just the message that's coming through here Okay, so whatever toxic type of, and I'm not saying, listen, I'm, please don't get me wrong. If you're someone who works the, the night shift, that's not a toxic lifestyle, okay? I'm not saying that if you work overnight, like in the hospital, <laughs> that you're a toxic person. No, 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 no. Somebody's got to work those shifts, and we're all grateful to you if that's your, if you're doing that. Because let me just tell you, I've worked those shifts, and those are hard they're hard shifts. There are people 
who who do those 16 20 hour shifts and they're filling in and those are those are the the grinders i know it i know it and i'm not saying that's bad there are people who are who have to do those things right and there's people who want to do those things i don't know what the deal is with this person i just know that this person is tired of doing these things because it's affecting their health they don't want to live this way anymore they want to they want to be happy they want to have a, a they want to cut because the majority of people i i believe don't quote me the majority of people like the the major majority of people don't work those shifts right those are they're tough not everybody can do that not everybody this person wants to settle down <clears throat> right maybe a lot of younger people can do that too you know and they're they're built for that so they can do that you know um so this person i feel like It's making some changes in their life okay so that's the message right all right so let's take a look is it you virgo or is it someone that you know what does this mean for this person now if you're if you're connected to this person if this is not you if you're connected to this person does this have an effect on your has it were you connected to this person and it had an effect on your relationship it may have right because that's a life that's a hard life if you were in a relationship with someone who was like a physician or some, like or someone who was on call or someone in the military and they were gone a long time or someone who was you know had one of those jobs that it's very hard to sustain a long-term kind of relationship with someone who just had a kind of a chaotic schedule yeah yeah i feel like this is going to be shocking news because you're going to find out about this this weekend. Something's coming up. This person's walking away from that lifestyle. Whew, look, you've got the chariot. Well, they do. At least coming towards you. Or at least for you in your reading. This person has a chariot. There's so much movement right now here with this reading. This person, 100%. Boom. Walking away. Moving away. Sailing away. Sailing takes me away to where I've always. Mm -hmm. So, major transition. This person is done with this lifestyle. They're done. May they might be retiring, or they could be just saying, "Nope, no more, no more. I'm gonna go flip burgers nine to 5 <coughs> They've had enough. And that's what is that doing? It's freeing up time for them. Okay, so they're now kind of coming to this place here where it's like, okay, now I can make some plans. Now I can figure out which way I want to go here because they're no longer, they have, they can, oh, how can I say it? They can get back to the land of the living instead of being in the land of the lost like will and holly and if nobody gets that reference shoot me okay because <laughs> i know some of I, I hope some of you do get that reference because i said that the other day somebody was like will and holly what are you talking about i was just like all right i'm out of here i'm leaving nobody's relating to me goodbye i'm leaving goodbye <laughs> so yeah, now this person can now actually make plans and make decisions. They stand at the crosshair. Okay, now where do I want to go? How do I want to do? So how does this relate to you, Virgo? Yes, because I feel like there's someone, there's a connection that you have with someone that there was a relationship that was not sustainable due to someone's time being completely occupied by um, misalignment. There was a misalignment, nothing to do with a lack of love, nothing to do with anything else other than um, it feels like scheduling. <laughs> it feels like scheduling. It's a scheduling error. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And I, I see this person is, you know, with this hand of cards showing up here, I feel like this person has had this on their mind for a while. Um, 
I don't know if they've tried to have a relationship and it just didn't pan out for them or they've tried to have relationships and they didn't really pan, didn't work out or tried to have it with you. It was just too difficult to maintain. But yeah, it feels like even with that clock, it's just things would cycle relationships or the relationship with you would just kind of cycle in and out. And it just, now it's time to heal, make some progress, okay? This person is like, I need some time here. Like, I need more time. I don't have enough time for relationships or for my time with Virgo, especially the one I love because I'm dedicated or when we can't see each other, we can't be together because I've got my commitments and we're just not on the right schedule to be together. There's so that everything gets in the way, you know, the slipping and sliding in different directions. That's what I feel like is pretty much the issue here. And so what happens and that kind of has caused a lot of friction. That's what I feel like. Mm hmm. And that's coming to an end. Those three major arcanas there on the left, like you're going to be shocked. This person is walking away from that, starting a whole new chapter here in their life. So for some of you, this is someone who's like totally retiring. They're just like done. Like it's done. I'm free. I'm going to Acapulco. Well, maybe that's not a good place to go right now. Uh, you know, <laughs> want to come with? I'm traveling. Let's go. Let's go. Take you with me. Let's go live on the boat. Let's go travel for three months. Spend all our time together. Beautiful energy. Seriously, beautiful. Look, there is so much of this energy that the cards keep coming out. It's um, it's amazing. Movement, movement, travel, travel. It's just beautiful. So this weekend, I feel like you're going to find out about this. There's like a all new beginning happening here. This is like with the magician. Magic happening over this weekend. <clears throat> now for some of you, is this a... Is this a romantic relationship? I, I want you to notice there's the only cups here is the eight of cups. And that's a card of like abandoning plans, abandonment, that kind of thing. So for some of you, this could be a relationship that was walked away from a long time ago. Okay. Where there was like, oh, you know, we're abandoning ship here. It's not working. So when I say ship, a relationship, okay, for some of you, yeah. For others of you, this could be just a friendship or any other platonic relationship. Where now there's like some catch-up happening here and you guys, you know, like, wow, we could see each other, that kind of thing. So it's a good thing, right? Just when I said that, right? Platonic, it could be platonic. But there's a meaning, there's a coming together, for sure. And this is a card of alignment. This is mutual, meaning of the minds, mirroring each other. This is the mutuals. So for some of you, it could be mutuals, like if you have mutuals on Facebook, if you're on like um, social media, connecting, you guys might not have ever been able to kind of come together on social media if your friend's on there because of different schedules and stuff like that. Maybe you've just been putting likes on each other's pictures, but <laughs> different schedule. now you're coming together, okay? This start could be the start of new love, a start of a great friendship that could turn into love um, or just two people that just had something but just could only ever just be friends um, or dare I say the word without getting my head chewed off friends with benefits and couldn't become anything else eventually ended because it couldn't be anything more well now there's now there's an opportunity for something to get off the ground here and like, like I said I mean the longer you stay in something you don't want, the more resentment builds. <clears throat> so you have to make sure that if you if it's not working for you, that you cut it, nip it in the bud right away. So there isn't any resentment and anger. You just kind of have to look at something objectively and be like, okay, right? So we're just not compatible. Like our schedules, scheduling doesn't work. It doesn't fit. So we're just, so rather than just kind of holding on and trying to hope for the best and try to make something 
you know, put round pegs in square holes. I'm sorry, square pegs in round holes. Um, don't do that. Just look at the look. Just look at your compatibility. Like you get a step by step, right? Okay. Well, we're not compatible, but let's try to change each other. <laughs> no, that's just a waste of time. And then you're gonna get you're gonna ruin any chance you have if things change later. The resentment's gonna build, and then it turns into oh, he and I theft. No, you guys just weren't compatible. It's probably really all it is, and that's it. And then let it go. <clears throat> Not all the time, I get it, but most of the time, that's really just what it is. And sometimes people just aren't communicating that to each other. And sometimes people are you know, like, it's it's the guys too. It's not just the women; it's the guys too. And the guys are like, oh no, I think we can make it work. Meanwhile. They're in India, and, and you're in Alabama. Like, what What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'll be there soon. I'll be moving in 10 years. Get the hell out of here. Okay, so uh, there's a definitely a coming together here. Okay, there's definitely a coming together here. Yeah, free, I'm free, free falling. I get that image of Tom Cruise in his car and uh, Jerry Maguire. You know, he was taken off. Wait, was that from that movie? Or was that from Rain Man? Now I'm confused. Oh, I mix up my movies now the older I get. <laughs> and I should know all the Jerry Maguire scenes. That was from Tom, that was from Rain Man, wasn't it? The free fallen scene. He was singing in his car. Yeah, that was from Rain Man. Girl. I got dyslex dyslexia of the brain, I swear, with, with my movie scenes. I like to say movie and then I'll pin it to the wrong uh, movie scene and I'll pin it to the wrong movie. Anyway, yeah, I just saw that. Right, wasn't it? Was it Rain Man? I was at Jerry Maguire. Now, holy. Now, I'm going to look it up, but I got to bleep this part out. I'm gonna. I have to bleep this part out because you know why? It, it's a copyright issue. <laughs> All right. You know what? Who cares? I'm. I, I don't remember. I'm gonna just leave it there. I really don't remember. That's it. You tell me. Leave it in the comment. Leave it in the chat because I just can't remember. And I'm ashamed to admit that because Jerry Maguire is my most favorite movie, and I'm ashamed to to admit that I can't remember. But it is what it is. All right. So. Yeah, look, I'm free. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to do it all. Yeah. Is this person going to tell Virgo this? What's going on? Because I'm telling you that this is what's happening here. I'm telling you. Let me just tell you. I'm going to tell you right now also. We've got Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer. Okay. But I'm telling you. That this is what I'm seeing. Now, are they going to have a conversate? Are they going to have a conversate with Virgo over this weekend? I don't know, because I feel like, I mean, I said you were going to be, you're shocked by this. So somehow you're going to find out. But I will say with the tower, there is an energy of, boom, this is going to be sudden. This sudden change. So is Virgo going to find out about this? Over this weekend. No, you're not going to find out about this over this weekend. No, in other words, they're not going to they're not going to tell you. You're not going to hear from this person over this weekend. Okay, now they're giving me the page of cups. You might. All right, I'll just it's a maybe. Okay, you might. You might hear from them. How, all right, now they're saying, so you might hear from them, but it, you might the conversation might not be about that. For some of you, you might hear from them, and it might just be nothing heavy. <clears throat> I don't know. They're just giving me a maybe, so we're going we're gonna to leave it there, okay, as far as hearing from them. But I will tell you that... At least the energy is kicking up over this weekend where this person, whatever they 
whatever you guys have been in misalignment about, where I feel it's mostly a scheduling thing, okay? But if it's anything else that you feel like, okay, well, there couldn't be, we couldn't be together because of A, B, C, D, all the way through Z. Um, they're free from it. They're free from it, okay? I feel it's mostly scheduling, but for some of you, there could have been an other commitment, okay? Whatever falls under that umbrella that they couldn't get away from. You know your story better than me. But whatever was taking away from, was taking them away from, it was causing them to not be able to live a good, healthy life, right? Um, they could have been in a toxic relationship. They could have been in a toxic environment. They could have chosen to work a particular um, career that had a lot of toxic fumes around it. Um, they could have worked a particular career that um, caused them to be unwell, mentally, physically, emotionally, maybe took a toll on them after many years. Uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's it's like done, right? It's coming to the end. Like this person is done. Like they are like, that's it, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to take my severance pay. I'm going to take whatever I... I'll pay any whatever I have to pay, whatever I whatever I need to pay off, whatever I can get packaged to take with me. I'll take Social Security, whatever I need. And I, I'm, I'm going sailing. <laughs> I, I'm, I have free time now. And, and, and as far as Virgo is concerned, how you doing, babe? <laughs> how you doing, Virgo? Where you been? Everything all right? I want to see you. I miss you. I love you. Sweet, mild, beautiful little text messages. That kind of thing. Yeah, it's so sweet. It is. It's so sweet. Let me get a couple of uh, messages of love oracle cards here. So financial challenges affecting this connection. I feel like that might have played a role. Okay. Well, there you go. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Oh, yeah. Well, that retirement can do that to people. You know, there's definitely an element here of someone who is like coming alive. They've had enough. They've had enough. They're passing on to another stage of their life. Not passing as in death. They're moving into another, they're transitioning into another stage of their life. And then there's new love. New love for self, healthier choices, or recommitment to love is developing. Now for some of you, when we say new love, this could be a new love start with somebody brand new. Okay? That you might not even know about this. You haven't met them yet. Okay, where this person, you might find out that you could just start talking and they might say, no, I haven't been in a relationship. I have few and few and far between, but my career has been, I've been married to my work. Or they might tell you that they've had this, they've been married for years and years and it's just been horrible, but they've, they've stayed because their spouse was ill. <clears throat> for the past for like most of the marriage right that kind of thing and and you know it's it's done and that kind of thing you know so for some of you this is a new a new kind of situation definitely so um why is it relevant over the weekend because it's an it, it's an energetic thing like i said you may not <clears throat> find out all the details over this weekend um but you might so i feel like most the, the bulk of the message is for those of you that already know this person, already have a connection with them, and <clears throat> whether it's a romantic relationship or a friend, you will find out that this person has got time now for the relationship. However, as I always say, I give my caveat, 
you don't have to have time for them anymore if you've waited a long time and it's not what you want. That's completely up to you. That that part is where I back off. <laughs> I'm just like, if you want it, you have to want it. If you don't want it, you know, it's completely understandable. And you might just be like, okay, been there, done that, but I need to be... I want to be with someone who's who's wants to who's available and present, and so this could be somebody new, you know. So I don't know. It's up to you, right? This is just the energy I'm picking up. Let's see if we can pick up signs coming in for you. All right, Scorpio and Pisces. Okay. Now let me get a couple of. I just want to get a couple of initials. I'm not going to go hardcore with this because it is a weekend reading. Okay, we have what? All right, this is the letter N. N is a Nancy. And then we have a Z. Okay, someone might be from New Zealand also. Or Z, Netherlands. <laughs> Netherlands. Okay, someone was born in 1988. We have August 23rd. We have 1941, or someone is 41. If someone's born in 1941, how old would they be? Maybe like 80. Holla if you're here on my channel. Um, someone is 32. Okay. And I must have the letter H, the letter T. I'm just going to give it all. J, M, K, L, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, and let's get a charm. Let us. Oh, okay. Well, that'll work. I guess that'll work. Hold on, you guys. Let me get my little black card so you can see. So we've got a butterfly. Oh! That's interesting, and I'm going to have to tell you. If you have not gone over to my um, Moon Pie Tarot channel, there's a link in the chat box. There's also going to there's a link um, on my channel. Um, the butterfly card showed up. Yes. Um, so go back. That there might be a reading there for you. Absolutely. So this is transformation and change. 100 percent yeah you might have a connection with butterflies i guess well depending where you are in the region i mean where i'm at the butterflies are all they've flown away but um butterfly is all about transformation and change that might be significant for you butterflies it, butterflies are not significant to me <clears throat> excuse me and what i mean by that is like i don't if i see butterflies decor i don't buy it they don't, I, I love butterflies. I think they're beautiful, but I don't like put decor around my house with butterflies. I would not choose a butterfly tattoo as my first choice if I were to get one. Um, I don't have butterfly stickers. So I feel like if butterflies are significant to you in that way, then this definitely, this reading will be more specific to you and you should pay attention to that. Okay, so you might have tattoos or stickers or you, you might see butterflies everywhere you go or hear a reading about butterflies. Um, something about butterfly. You might even have a butterfly tattoo somewhere special. It, it's symbolic to you for some reason. Or if you see one and they're not native to your area or it, they're seas it, like it's off season there's a message here for you all right you guys so i'm going to leave your weekend reading there for you i hope that you enjoyed that thank you so much for donating to the rescue kids fund i saw like somebody recently made a donation and i don't remember her name but i saw it and i thought man that was pretty freaking awesome she made a huge donation i think it was like 50 30 or 50 dollars recently um, to the rescue kids as a matter of fact she deserves a shout out and I am going to give her one um, as soon as I can find it here where did it go <laughs> I will get that together to give the shout outs to everybody who has donated to the rest if you want to donate to my rescue kids now fund um, the donation goes to 
the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, um, which is a national donation. Uh, oh yeah, Casey Ball. Thank you, Casey Ball, for donating fifty-two dollars forty-five cents for donating to the fund, and Crystal Real donated twenty-six dollars and twenty-two cents. There was an anonymous donation made. Crystal donated twice, as a matter of fact, and that oh no, Crystal donated three times. Wow. Yes, so far that I could see. So yeah, if you guys would like to donate, that is super super awesome. I get no no. I get all the proceeds go directly to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to help find the missing children or the exploited children. Yeah, so any amount doesn't matter. Donate a dollar. Donate a quarter. Any amount. Wonderful, wonderful program to help try and find the children. And um, thank you, yes, for donating the coffee to my coffee fund. It's super awesome because, listen, let me tell you, every time you guys donate, I'm not kidding. I've got coffee. And I drink buckets of this stuff. Buckets, buckets of coffee. So I'm super, super grateful. I saw some of you posted that you guys were like, well, you know, I can't afford the membership. Right, so as I've been saying, I'm going to reduce the membership price, so I want you to keep that in mind, because I want everybody to be able to become a member. I'm going to change the perks, so please do think about becoming a member of my channel. It will be affordable. I know the prices have just gone up everywhere, just the price of bread. It's ridiculous, and everybody keeps raising their prices because they think, oh, well, we're competing with everybody else, but actually, that's not going to help, in my personal opinion, because people can't afford... <laughs> it's so stupid I just look I'm 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 not I'm not a financier or anything like that I just feel like it doesn't help to raise the prices you're competing with other companies because they're raising the prices but it doesn't help those who need to pay for the products lower the prices just a bit so people will you'll be able to get people to keep buying your products right so that's my thought process right just, just be that person that isn't the a hole, that's just gonna, that isn't gonna keep raising your prices. So I'm gonna lower mine, and hopefully it will help. And um, yeah, that's what's going on. So there you go. So if you guys, um, I'm gonna be here Sunday for the live stream. So definitely join in on Sunday. And I think there's a, it for the announcements. I have so many, don't I? I have to stop with all these announcements. I have so many. All right, you guys. So have a great weekend. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. You're happy. You're free. You're just out there living your best life. I hope you find love this weekend. And if you don't, I hope you laugh for sure. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. All right. Take care. Love you. Bye.